So let's talk about robots, specifically humanoid robots powered by AI, and explore all the exciting developments that were showcased at the 2024 World Robot Conference in Beijing. And trust me, there is a lot to unpack from this event. We're talking game-changing innovations, cutting-edge technology, and the latest in AI advancements. So let's get into it. All right, so first, let's set the stage. The World Robot Conference is kind of a big deal in the tech world. Think of it as the Oscars for robotics. It takes place every year in Beijing, and it's where the latest and greatest in robotic technology is put on display. This year, the conference was bigger and better than ever, attracting 169 exhibitors from all over the globe, showing off more than 600 innovative products. And here's the kicker. There were a record high 27 humanoid robots featured this year. Yeah, humanoid robots are becoming a major focal point in the robotics field, and the hype is real. So why all the buzz around humanoid robots? Well. There's a growing interest in how AI can be integrated into robots that look and move like humans. These aren't standard robots that you might see in factories. These are androids designed to interact with us in a more natural, human-like way. The idea is that these robots could eventually perform tasks just like, or even better than, humans. And it's not just about replacing humans, it's about collaborating with us especially in environments that are dangerous or require heavy labor. A great example from the conference is the Unitree G1. This is a two-legged humanoid robot standing about 1.3 meters tall and weighing around 35 kilograms. It's sleek, it looks futuristic, and it's packed with some pretty advanced tech. The Unitree G1 can move at a speed of 2 meters per second and has advanced three-finger force control hands, which means it can handle objects delicately and precisely. It's also got a maximum knee joint torque, of 120 newton meters, so it's pretty strong for its size. What really sets the Unitree G1 apart is its robot unified large model, which is a fancy way of saying that it has a robust AI system that allows it to learn and refine its skills continuously. This model was launched this year and it's already making waves. Priced at around 99,000 yuan, or about 13,874 US dollars, it's actually quite affordable considering its advanced capabilities. According to Huang Jiawei, the marketing director at Unitree, this robot isn't just designed to look impressive, it's built to be highly functional in a variety of practical applications. That's why it's already being adopted by numerous labs and companies. Now, at the conference, Shenzhen-based Ubitech Robotics showed off some of their robots that are currently deployed on automotive production lines. These robots aren't just for show, they are doing real work, intelligent transportation, quality inspection, and even handling chemicals. It's a big step forward for the large-scale application of humanoid robots in manufacturing. According to Greg G, the lead on UbeTech's humanoid robot motion control algorithm team, their robots currently operate at about 20% of human efficiency. Now that might not sound super impressive at first, but here's the thing. They expect to reach nearly 100% efficiency within the next one to two years. And remember, robots can work 24 sevenths without breaks. This means their overall efficiency could soon surpass that of human workers. The integration of AI models has accelerated the development of humanoid robots. As GE mentioned, we're looking at a future where robots and humans are going to be working side by side more often, especially in environments that are risky or involve heavy duty tasks. Essentially robots that can help you with heavy lifting or perform tasks that are too dangerous for humans. That's the direction we're heading in and it's pretty exciting. Another standout from the conference was the Tiangong, an embodied AI robot. Now, what do they mean by embodied AI? Simply put, it's AI with a physical form, an AI that doesn't just exist in the cloud or on a server somewhere, but is integrated into a robot that can interact with the physical world. The Tiangong was a big hit at the event because it showcased some pretty advanced capabilities. It could engage in conversations, respond to voice commands, and even grasp and place objects in designated spots. Chi Jiping, the team leader from the Beijing Embodied Artificial Intelligence Robotics Innovation Center, explained that embodied AI helps bridge the gap between the digital and physical world. Just think about it, an AI that can move around on its own and interact intelligently with its surroundings opens up a whole new realm of possibilities. Imagine heading to a concert and a humanoid robot guides you to your seat, fetches your favorite snack, or even helps you navigate through the crowd. That's the kind of future embodied AI is aiming for, and the Tengong robot is a big step in making that vision a reality. Other impressive presentations at the 2024 World Robot Conference in Beijing included a Tencent's four-legged robot dog. Now, if you've ever seen a robot dog before, you might think, okay, big deal. But this one's on a whole different level. 
It doesn't just walk, it can run, jump, and even perform backward somersaults. It's super agile and could go places a human or even a regular robot couldn't reach. Then we got Alibaba's new logistics robot. Now logistics might not sound super exciting at first, but this robot is designed for last mile delivery, which is a huge challenge in the e-commerce world. It's like your own little autonomous delivery guy that can navigate complex urban environments without any human intervention. Then there was a robot that totally captivated the audience, a robot that can play the Chinese dulcimer. And not just playing like a simple tune, it learned to play this complex instrument in just two to three days, which is insane. This kind of skill acquisition shows just how far AI learning has come. Next up, we've got a robot that really blurs the lines between human and machine. A humanoid robot that mimics human facial expressions in real time. It's designed to look like a young man and can perfectly replicate its partner's facial expressions. Now, we can't forget about the medical sector. There were several presentations featuring advanced medical robots that are designed for surgical precision. Using AI to assist with surgeries can greatly reduce the margin for human error and improve outcomes for patients. Agriculture also got some love at the conference with robots designed for the field, literally. These agricultural robots are capable of tasks like planting, weeding, and harvesting, which could majorly cut down labor costs and boost efficiency on farms. We're talking about robots that could help address food security by optimizing farming processes. Now, this next one's pretty interesting. Wissen Technology showed off their innovative, pliable robotic arms. Instead of the usual motors, these arms use three D printed plastics and pneumatic artificial muscles, making them way cheaper to produce, like one tenth the cost of traditional robotic arms. This could make high quality robotic tech accessible to a lot more industries. And then there's the Walker S Light robot from UB Tech Robotics. This one's an industrial humanoid robot that's already at work in car factories. It's helping with everything from quality testing to sorting parts, working right alongside human workers to improve efficiency on the production line. And lastly, we saw the debut of the Robot Blue Book, an extensive report that dives deep into the Chinese robotics industry and its potential. It's kind of like a roadmap for the future of robotics, outlining development trends and opportunities. For anyone interested in the business side of robotics, this is a must read. Now, while there are some incredible advancements, there are still challenges to overcome in the robotics industry. For instance, at the conference, Yi Gang, founder of Shanghai-based T5 Robot, highlighted some of the problems in the current robotics supply chain. Product reliability is actually one of the biggest issues. Due to high defect rates, companies like his can only produce up to 1,000 units at a time. And let's not forget about the key components like harmonic gears, which are crucial for motion control in robots, but still face quality and reliability issues. Also, Wissen Technology, another player in the robotics field, is doing something pretty unique. They're using 3D printed plastics and pneumatic artificial muscles instead of the traditional motors and reducers for their robotic arms. This makes their robots much cheaper to produce, about one-tenth the cost of traditional robotic arms, which could be a game changer for affordability in the industry. According to Chao Wei from Lanchi Ventures, who has invested in Wissen, these pliable robotic arms could potentially be used in humanoid robots in the future. But in any case, China is pushing hard to become a global leader in this field. As mentioned by Marina Bill, president of the International Federation of Robotics, China's manufacturing capabilities and supply chain strength are really tough to match, even for some of the most developed countries. There's also a big focus on developing new productive forces in technology. As Premier Li Qiang highlighted, the robot industry has broad prospects and massive market potential. The government is calling for efforts to promote the expansion and popularization of robots across various fields, industry, agriculture, and even services. Essentially, AI has ushered in the iPhone moment for humanoid robots. Think about it. Just like the iPhone revolutionized the smartphone industry, AI is set to revolutionize robotics. We're getting closer than ever to making the dream of fully integrated humanoid robots a reality. The plan is to establish a production capacity of over 10,000 embodied AI robots by the end of 2026, according to Kong Lei from the Beijing Economic Technological Development Area Administrative Committee. That's a pretty ambitious goal, but given the rapid pace of development we're seeing, it seems totally possible. All right, if you found this video helpful, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and stay tuned for more updates on the latest in AI tech. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.